Near an empty Florida beach, Jeff Bezos' space company built a launch pad designed to withstand the flames and roar of powerful rocket engines at liftoff. Pitifully so far, there is hardly a scratch on it. Quite possibly since there hasn't been any rockets that have launched on it. This situation can be changed in 2024 as Jeff Bezos is pushing his team to move faster with the new Glenn production campaign. The company appears to have had more progress inside to share publicly with fans recently. So, can Blue Origin catch up with SpaceX in the space race? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Blue Origin has been working on New Glenn for the better part of a decade. During that time, founder Jeff Bezos observed the development of SpaceX's Starship program and recognized that New Glenn must evolve to compete with a fully reusable Starship. That is the purpose of Project Jarvis and other initiatives. The first stage of the rocket will be able to land post-launch similar to how Blue Origin's New Shepard vehicles land after a flight. However, the New Shepard is only capable of going to suborbital space, so it's not traveling as fast or as high as a rocket going to orbit. Landing an orbital rocket post-launch will put Blue Origin in a whole nother league altogether. However, this will prove rather difficult for this company. Originally aiming for the first launch of New Glenn back in 2020, Blue Origin has publicly announced delays on three separate occasions, from 2018 to 2021, then to the fourth quarter of 2022, and now no earlier than the fourth quarter of 2023. It's now suggested that the first launch will be no earlier than 2024. Although this promise is not too feasible, the public has recently seen some encouraging signs from Blue Origin. On November 9th, the company shared an amazing video about inside the engine production facility and said, The power, passion, history. Team Blue is building the future in Rocket City, Alabama. Honestly, I used to be a doubter of Blue Origin to start with, but I'm starting to see the jigsaw come together. SpaceX is more a design-build-test-redesign type of company, which is exciting to watch, but Blue Origin is playing the first-time-right game. We can see them as a major player now. Previously, we had another look inside New Glenn's factory. Shared on Blue Origin's Instagram account, the image reveals various stages of production of hardware for the New Glenn rocket. The expansive factory floor is filled with tank sections in various stages of production, similar to what we see at SpaceX's Starbase facility. On the right-handed side of the photograph, situated beneath the windows that peer into Blue Origin's Florida offices, stands a substantial assembly of tank segments. This configuration might potentially be an early prototype, a test booster, or perhaps, more hopefully, flight hardware. Nevertheless, the precise nature of the components captured in the photograph remains ambiguous, despite their association with New Glenn. Sightings of developmental hardware from Blue Origin are a rarity, rendering even a modest revelation like this one a welcome occurrence. During a workshop on September 11th at the World Satellite Business Week conference in Paris, Jared Jones, senior vice president for New Glenn at Blue Origin, also said the company is still working towards the first launch of that rocket in 2024. They even mentioned multiple launches of this rocket, though they did not provide a more precise time frame. The first flight vehicle will arrive at the integration facility by the end of the year, followed by integrated hot fire tests. He also shared that the company has four boosters in various stages of development, each designed to be reused up to 25 times. And the company was also looking at other ways to double its launch capacity that they did not go into. To be fair, this is good news for Blue enthusiasts, but given Blue Origin's track record over the past decade, it has left many skeptical about this timeline. We're not even sure if they've completed all four of these boosters yet, or if these are just flying components being manufactured without any engines installed. Blue Origin's statement seems somewhat vague, which is in line with their traditionally secretive nature. The question that arises is when these components will actually be ready for engine integration, even if they may begin to exceed the time frame. Additionally, Jones expressed his perspective on Blue Origin's efforts, stating, I obviously follow the success of SpaceX, and he feels more inspired when he hears remarks like those made by Oceanero, SpaceX's VP, who commented, where you were last year. 
It seems like this is Blue Origin's response to SpaceX as they continue to closely monitor SpaceX's success and draw inspiration from it to compete in the rapidly advancing space race. Jones affirmed ambitiously, that's our future. Lastly, let's come to the million dollar question. Will Blue Origin keep up with SpaceX in 2024? Or catch up, I mean. Launching new Glenn from the rugged but unused pad on Cape Canaveral stands out as a hurdle Blue Origin must show it can surmount. Customers have signed up to fly on the vehicle and Bezos' far-reaching goals for space require transport to low Earth orbit and beyond. The company plans to launch the first new Glenn mission next year provided the vehicle meets its exacting standards. I think everybody wants new Glenn to fly at the earliest time possible. Everybody does, Bob Smith, former chief executive at Blue Origin said in an interview. We're not going to sacrifice doing it right. Bezos found Blue Origin almost 25 years ago when Amazon.com was an unprofitable website. Shortly after that, Musk plowed money into his own space startup. The entrepreneurs have sci-fi dreams. Bezos predicted that humanity would spread across the solar system, and Musk reminds people that SpaceX's goal is to make interplanetary travel a reality. SpaceX has pulled away from Blue Origin, launching its Falcon rockets almost 270 times as of the time I have made this report, including for human space missions that the company has started to make routine. The gap between the two companies has drawn notice from space industry officials and executives. Many of us think of Blue Origin as really, truly a potential competitor to SpaceX, said Thomas Zerbuchen, the former top science administrator at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or better known as NASA. I think for many of us, there's a little bit of a sense of anxiety. The two companies' strategies are quite different. SpaceX has a built-upon reputation for speed and embracing fireballs when developing rockets. Blue Origin, on the other hand, which once used tortoises on a logo, operated for years like a think tank with a more cautious, methodical style. The advantage is you're not going to make as many mistakes, George Sowers, who developed rockets at United Launch Alliance, said of the route Blue Origin has taken. But SpaceX would say, hey, making mistakes is how we learn. Earlier this year in April, SpaceX blasted off Starship, its new 394-foot-tall rocket for the first time from its complex in South Texas. The launch spread debris over hundreds of acres and started a fire. Starship flew for four minutes before an onboard system destroyed it. In launching, what you're doing is trying to resolve the unknowns, which you cannot know before you launch, Musk said back in June. Executives said the data gleaned made the flight worth it. Blue Origin wants the first flight of New Glenn to work from the moment the rocket reaches the pad to when its reusable booster lands back on a barge not long after liftoff. The inaugural flight will have customer devices on board. It won't be an experiment. Even though it's our initial launch, our position isn't to hope, said Jared Jones, senior vice president for the New Glenn project. Pulling that off will be difficult. New Glenn would be a towering vehicle stacked up, capable of powering huge amounts of mass into space. The company has also struggled at times to build rocket engines. One it made for a customer, United Launch Alliance, exploded during a test in late June. A spokesman said Blue Origin is carrying out fixes to address what happened with that engine, and that it will meet its delivery commitments. The company needs to build seven engines for the first new Glenn while continuing to ship engines to the ULA. Blue Origin's pace with new Glenn has sometimes rankled its engineers, some of whom have argued for taking a page from Musk by building and flying smaller prototypes. SpaceX has been notable for step-by-step -step development in upgrading rockets, a former Blue Origin engineer said in a 2019 memo sent to executives. Smith, Blue Origin's CEO, has stuck with the company's rocket development approach. He said that Blue Origin has used smaller vehicles in charting out New Glenn, saying the company has drawn heavily from its experience creating New Shepard, a rocket Blue Origin has used to fly tourists on short flights to space. Among those lessons, according to Smith, developing a reusable booster and training flight controllers. With all its certainty, Blue Origin, probably like NASA, will have a hard time keeping up with SpaceX's speed. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you'd like to support us even further, go on ahead and hop on over to our Patreon through that link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today, and you'll gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? 
In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.